Hey, what's going on? I'm Frank the Man. You watching Frank the Man TV? You stumbled across the right video because if you're trying to become a barber or simply just learn how to cut hair, this is a place to be. I'm going to show you how to cut hair, and before you even learn how to cut hair, I'm going to show you what to do before you even pick up the clippers. So stick around. I'm going to show you how to do just that. Alright guys, before we start cutting hair, we have to make sure that we sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. And right now I have a nail brush and all I'm doing is I'm dusting off my clippers. Alright, going inside my shaver to make sure everything is real nice and neat. And you clean the front, you clean the back, make sure you clean every single clipper that you have. When you're dusting off your shears, make sure that you're very, very careful because it's really easy to cut yourself. So be very, very careful, you guys. And go ahead and grab your cool care here. Spray each individual shear or clipper in the front and the back. And all you guys need is a small mist, you guys. You guys don't need a lot. next step you guys is the most important thing which is a consultation right before we even pick up the shears or the clippers we have to make sure that we know exactly what we're about to do and this is exactly what I'm doing here all right boom here we go so the first things first we go ahead and draw my first guideline right which is this here this bald guideline that I'm doing with the wall ball giving him a mid fade and if you ever wonder how how you identify if it's a mid fade mid fades are done directly on the temple here Make sure you always dust off your client because it does get really uncomfortable when you have all the hair on you. I like to blow dry my clients as well. It makes you feel extra fancy, I guess. Next up is the Andy's Profile Shaver. And with this, you guys, the slower you cut with the shaver, the more hair you cut. Every guideline that I do is half an inch, right? So right now I'm going up, I'm going half an inch directly under the first guideline that I did. All I'm doing with this is I'm just going one stroke up and down, up and down. Sometimes when we're balding our client with a shaver here, a guideline is created. Right? And the easy way to remove this is by going up and down or side to side. Right? Whatever works for you, I like to go up, I like to go down, side to side. Whatever works, whatever takes off that guideline, go ahead and do it. Here you see me doing doing a little mixture of all of all two here side to side up and down and also when you're balding your client make sure you feel the skin you want them to be extra extra bald because that's the whole purpose of balding your client so make sure you feel your skin sometimes you feel the stubble there and that's what i did there and now i'm just i'm just going i'm going against the grain and making sure he's 100 bald Alright guys, next up is our second guideline, right? And the way we create that second guideline is simple, it's by dropping our lever. And if you're not if you're not sure what I mean by that, all you have to do is drop the lever, right? Which creates a 0.5 guideline. So when the lever is up, that's zero. When the lever is down, it's 0.5. And right now that second guideline is a 0.5 guideline. And that first one is a zero, a zero point zero guideline. To get rid of that first guideline, we bring the lever all the way back up again and we drop it slightly to make it a 0.1. And we just touch that first guideline. And right now I'm going to drop the clipper down to a 0.2. Boom. Because the first guideline is 0, I created a 0.1 to flick out and then now I'm creating a 0.2 to flick out. And right there a lot of heads in there and I like to use my corners right there. Right in the corner. Right now it's a 0.3. Right, because remember the top guideline is 0 0.5. So as you go up, the lever falls. Right, the more the higher you go up, the lever falls. But that that second guideline is our guideline, meaning we never go past that guideline. So as you saw here, 
I, I went a little bit more down on the lever and now all I'm doing is I'm touching up any dark spots and I'm just playing with the trigger and honestly you kind of all you have to do is go up to the 0 0.3 and that's when you start flicking out because most of it is already blended and now all you have to do is go ahead and just touch up anything that you have to touch up Whatever created the guideline originally, which in this case was a balder, is the only thing that'll take it out. So don't be afraid to go back and grab your bald and clip it. Alright, right here, sometimes hair is gonna grow in a different different direction. So what you have to do is you have to go against that hair direction. And in this case, it's going down towards the left of the screen, and I just went ahead and went. The second guideline is 0.5, and now the third guideline on top of the second guideline is a 1.5. Right? That second guideline again is a 0.5 which is created with the lever all the way down. Which is why I took the one guard, right? And like I said, the only thing that takes off a guideline is whatever it was that you used to create that guideline. So in this case it was a 0.5. And now all I'm doing is I'm just fading it out. up any dark spots following the exact same steps that I told you guys. 1, 1.1, 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Remember to touch up as you go. I don't like to touch up at the end because sometimes it's really hard to do so especially when you're learning because you could get lost like that. Make sure you always dust off your clippers. Having hair in your clippers can clog up your clippers and even slow down your cutting time. And sometimes, a lot of the times actually, your clipper gets really hot. Make sure you test your wrist with it and hit it with the cool care. Final and last guideline, I'm gonna hit it with my number two guard. And again, touch up as you go. Don't wait till the end because you might and will get lost. And right now I'm just hitting it with the one and a half all the way open, which was originally what I, what I used to create that guideline. Now it's just a 2.1, softening up those dark spots. Be very careful with the bangs not to cut them. Again, which is why we combed his hair and followed his, his, his hair direction. Texturizing shears are used to soften up any dark spots that you see in your client's head. Don't be afraid to use these guys. Again, all we're using now is a number two to soften up any and all remaining dark spots. See how I grab, I pick up the hair and I swoop it at a 30 degree angle? Make sure you guys are doing that. And be very careful not to not to cut below the comb because you could go ahead and bald your client just ruin your haircut. Be very careful, you guys. When you clip rubber combing, make sure you're picking up the hair and you're, you're, you're elevating the hair up into the sky when you're trying to blend out the last and, and, and final bulkiness of that hair. This particular client here doesn't like to have hair on the side to be combed down. So all we're gonna be doing is hitting it with a number two guard. And before I hit it with a number two guard, I'm just combing all the hair that I need that I need down. And right here, notice I'm holding the hair that I don't wanna cut with the comb. And if you're wondering like, yo, how are you doing it so fast? One, it is sped up. And second, the only thing that cuts here is the actual teeth of the clipper, not the guard. You notice how the guards are going into the hair? And right here, I show you guys. The teeth cut, not the guard. The guard is the purple thing that I'm using. The teeth cut hair, the guard don't. So 
So you could put the teeth all the way in there. Just make sure the teeth don't go all the way in there, because then you got some explaining to do, and you just knock your homie's hair off. You know, you do not want that. All right, here we go. Second guideline, 0.5 with the lever all the way down. Put your one guard on and create your third guideline, which is your 1.5 guideline. The first guideline is a zero. The only thing that takes off that zero is a 0.1. So you drop the lever a little bit and you work on that first guideline. So you do 0.1, 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, all the way up to the five. But don't pass that, that second guideline that you created. That's the whole purpose of the guideline. guideline there we're just softening it up and make sure when you fade you fade out towards you not straight towards up into the sky straight out towards you you guys When it comes to the back you guys which are we save to the end i'm gonna go ahead and just skip that because i know how important your time is and i want to go ahead and waste it all right now we're gonna get to the shear wipe right whenever you're using shears make sure you part your current hair in a mohawk method this is going to serve as a reference point for when you're cutting hair all the way throughout your decline scalp whenever you're picking up hair you guys make sure you're always cutting it in the direction of which it grows meaning coming straight out of the scalp right if the hair goes directly from the scalp directly up cut it directly up see if it goes right there you cut it right there you don't stand behind your client's hair and pull the hair towards you no you you cut it directly at which it grows right you see where the comb is at boom in the direction of which the hair grows don't over direct the hair or pull the hair a certain way because then it won't be even right now you see me using my mohawk guideline as a reference point for all the other hair that's on the side of his head here. And whenever I, I cut with shears, I always start vertically. Next step is a lineup, right? Now, you know you guys are gonna be in the comment section. Where's this lineup? Where's this lineup? Well, it's a classic home look for you guys. It's a classic vintage look. Why not keep the classic, you know? So maybe, particularly my client here doesn't get lined up. All he does is get to the sides of his head lined up. Make sure you get under that, under that hair. Next step is blow drying, guys. And you guys know how important this is to me. I love styling hair, you guys. I know it sounds weird, but I love hair. I love understanding the way which hair grows and why it doesn't grow a certain way, why you can't style a certain way. It's it's amazing, you know? And right here, uh, when you blow dry your clients, the longer you hold hair, and the more volume you're going to give it. Right here with Suave Sipa, you guys, it's amazing. It's a nice pomade, and I'm just saturating it all through the hair, making sure every single hair strand is evenly distributed. Evenly distributed. Making sure that every single hair is evenly distributed. God damn. <laughs> all right, right here, you guys, look at the shape you gave my man right here. You can only accomplish this with blow drying. And again, if you want more tips on blow drying, I have a video specifically for that. To be flying, sometimes hair want to be fussy. Go ahead and cut that too. Next up is elegance gel. I love using elegance gel because it's, it's really it's simple, you know, it's gel on the bottom. Whenever you're straight raising your client, make sure you always pull the skin. Always, always pull your client's skin. The moment that you let go is when you cut your client. So be very careful. Always pull the skin, you guys. Never hold it straight, always down. All right, guys, and one of the final steps is to hand your client the mirror. I like to hand my client the mirror. That way they feel like I'm not hiding anything from them. 
Alright, go ahead and take off your Sonic strip. Alright, next up is the undrape your client and make sure you, you touch all that nasty neck hair that they got. I like to take it right down to the, the collar of the shirt, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sure they feel special because I do that, you know? And right here, you guys, corner to corner. Pick up each corner and go corner to corner and wow, you all set. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you enjoyed it, please tell me why in the comment section. I really would love to know. And uh, thank you guys, man. And I'm feeling like one man here, man. Thank you for clicking on this video, you guys. Peace.